Hello everyone, welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. Today we are going to dive right into it. Today's topic is about phrase sexuals. So, I have been studying this um, sexual orientation chart lately and um, I discovered some time ago that I was demisexual and of course I also discovered that I fall on the sapiosexual side, but the most recent discovery is I actually fall on the asexual side too. And asexual people tend not to have sex. All right, so we're going to get into it. Because the thing is, I am very sexual. Um, I enjoy lots of sexual activity, but it has to be with the right person. So, it's you know, it's kind of like, a like okay, well, I can understand why I'm on the se asexual side because it has to be like special circumstances. So, I understand why I'm over here. But there is another orientation that I recently have discovered, and it is called phrase sexual. I hope you all are ready. Okay, so let me break phrase sexual down. Phrase sexuals thrive off of new relationship energy, meaning that they are more sexually attracted to people that they don't know versus people that they know. Why did I start searching for a sexual? Because I wanted to know what was the opposite of demisexual. Demisexuals, we have to get to know you. We have to form a connection. And once there's a bond there, then intimacy can happen, right? Fray sexuals are on the complete opposite side, meaning that I like you better when I don't know who you really are. Oh my goodness, let's talk about it. I was talking to one of my friend guys, um, and he was explaining to me how this dating market is going to be so difficult for me because most guys kind of fall on their first sexual side. And I'm like, let's run it. Let's explain it because that's how me and him communicate. I'm like, talk to me. Explain to me why I'm going to have such a hard time. He said, because right now when men meet you, even if they don't know who you are, once they discover who you are, you're going to be a fantasy to them. And that fantasy portion of you is going to have them more attracted to you sexually. But once they get to know you and they get to know that you are actual real person with real issues, with uh, talking about life issues, not self issues, like with real life issues um, that, that you do regular stuff like everybody else, the whole thrill and the fantasy of you, it goes away and then you become a regular person. And then they'll probably be on that end of not really, not I'm gonna say liking you, but you become regular in other words. Now I'm the type of person, I welcome being regular because I absolutely hate new relationship energy. Even though it's a lot of uh, this, um, this romantic antsy butterflies and all of that kind of stuff I would much rather get down to who the hell are you who, who I'm really dealing with that's me I want to know who I'm really dealing with so I can bond and I can connect and we can go forward like that whereas with the fray sexuals once they see you for who you really are they don't like you you see it a lot with strippers Men meet strippers. They are infatuated with strippers. They think that they are beautiful. They think that they are so, you know, they have all the glam and they have all of this kind of stuff. And then you see her at home with her regular clothes on, with her hair, her head tied up. You see her in the morning when she don't have lashes on, makeup on, anything like that. And the thrill is gone. Free sexual. Yes. They thrive off of the fantasy. They thrive off of the new relationship energy. Now, can free sexuals be in relationships? Yes, they can. They can maintain healthy, long-term relationships. However, over a period of time, the sexual attraction fades. We see this a lot when people get married. When they first get together, they, they love birds, they all together, they don't want to be separated apart from each other. They want to take all their time and they want to spend their time together, all of it. You get the person, now you with them, you don't even desire to fuck them no more. Free sexual. So, I hope you learned a new term today. Um, I definitely enjoyed teaching a new term today. 
Again, fresh sexual is the complete opposite of demisexual. Um, and then we'll get into some of the other sexuals, but I thought that that was very interesting that my sexual preference, orientation, whatever you want to call it, it falls closer to the asexual side. And I can, uh, I can completely understand it because if I ain't connected to you in no type of way and I ain't feeling you in a certain type of way and you haven't stimulated me mentally, my body not coming. My, it, it, we, it's nothing that you can do for me. Absolutely nothing. I was standing up there and talk to you all goddamn day long and knowing ain't nothing about to happen because there's no connection or no bond there. So, um, I actually look at some of the people, especially when I attend lifetime parties. I mean, not lifetime party, lifestyle parties. Um, and I don't want to say I'm envious of some of the people there. It's just that I want to feel what it is in them that allows them to be able to do some of the things that they do and the person don't have to have a connection at all. And it's just like, Man, it must be nice to be on that side of it because you can you can enjoy these type of environments so much more. Whereas a person like me, yeah, I'm in the environment, but a lot of times I'm there, I'm talking, I'm teaching, um, I'm encouraging. Sometimes I'm the hype man, you know, all of this kind of stuff. But yeah, I ain't out there waddling in the mud like everybody else. So, you know, I guess everybody's different and it always, you know, makes people, it takes people to make the world go around, right? So, again, the word for today is phrase sexual. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're a phrase sexual, like, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Keep in mind, phrase sexuals love the new relationship energy. They love the newness. They like getting to know people. The, the whole process of getting to know you and your family and everything that they have for you, they, they crave and they thrive off of that type of stuff. Whereas a person like me is like, I just wish I already knew all of this because I like to move beyond that point to where I know you, I know your family, I know all of it. I, I know it. I know it. I don't want to have to keep repeating that process over and over again with people. It's draining for me. But free sexuals love it. Okay? All right. You all enjoy the rest of your uh, day and tomorrow's Resurrection Sunday. So I will see you all on Monday with a new topic. Mm -hmm. All right.